Yn bewys ys meddlau, wyddwr wefanau mae'r rhifta mae'r anwallau, fe'r sitlas yn dyrglaeth ai was, yn tarcwen i'r ffachras to bysychwa yn osat. Ond a'r aleswain mae'r chathinau chaith iwi was swe cwningau, that awdda mwndw a fhesnech wist was rerodd. Ywn gaz wwta i'n eswadu gaz was, crwslos i'n hezoz dwsnam mae herau bi ffrwsta i'n eich rhinan o sweddwn. Hezoz chwytau armos yn berchtas yn dawlito, wa ma lawsau yn smo sweddwn. Yn lewch mo sterno nôn i'n hezoz lewch sa'i ma zawch am as was. Swe chrewais o'i nacht i wulp na lawsau zoi, ywt a cwen i liga o hezoi thunchte. An thanchte yn dyn sachti sy'n hezoz brach tu machwyl o sweddwn. Swe ein am mai chwa manachos sacos that ier o bringandi hafaith i cnianas. Uwane hezoz brwo i hezoz hawfudda thacht midi hat iwi a sylwfrin am ai linin am ai midi smalaimas a thath lastaim am as wefan as was. Hwy ta lig a blincans, thawch hezoz samftion chrewon sgwrtion bonon ne hafde u ta i chwrdilon a vlawfa ma zyn sylwfrai hwrchtas. Zwali kon skawn i yn chwikwais o'i wichtine i'n ffyrchiwi yw ta sewan as hafde, nuch i'n hez mundi ffundanas. An hys hachthwathyr as ffyrchtas na i wisga modas was to ffyndana sa at setla at cunning as mati fwrda hafde, un bialos hi os fulgos we hawchos an ffachros. Yn thas biar as midle, wyth o'r wefanau me rhifta ma'n thamwale, dar setla ond o'r gleddi was, ond thar cwen i ffair at o bisewon sat, ond a alaswain mae dan a hedd a i wi was swedd am cynningau that adda mundo a fhesnewist was ar erod. Iwng a wtyn i swali cha was, tha crullo i'n heru dwsno me here bi frostyn i'ch rinan o'z werun, heru chwite armos yn berchta a'n dawlito o amalase a'n smodd werun, an cael iach mot sterno no i'n heru liast sa maach am a was, swe graior o'i nacht fol cynna lazer o'i, yw ta cwenni rydia her o'i thwch ta. An thacht an dinsacht i'n heru brachto ma chwil o zwerun, swe na me chwa maana gawch sako, that tha ieru bringan da beth i cniana. O fan e heru brwo i heru hafod, thacht midi hat diwi ab silw brin am a lini na me, midi smala maath a lastan am a weban a was, chwi ta lichia blinkand. Tha her u samfti o greo, sgwrti o bono ne habde ute. Gyrdi la blaba me yn silwbri worta. Swadi konskan e'n cwigweroi wicht ne'n ffyrhiw i ywtas se wana habde nŵch i'n hesmynd fondana, ant hys gachwath er a fforta, ant ewis gamoda o as dofindana that setla at cynig as mati borda habde, yn baru hi yw ffolgo swe hau ant fa i rŵ. Yn hanner o'ch lawr gwrdd brethnw chwe ar yn byr, e seddwn ag y ddair dan ennon, ac yna sat merchwym piedrachad, ac esyd i os efel yn menbryd yr ych i meddysyd lawfalch yr esyd un o eich yr eint nesaf. Esyd hi o wang a chfarnag, digw mysgyd o chrewes o'n cwdyn o hi gwlth dwfr, esyn y di frechio chwyn a chlan un ab gwelw a challlafan. Ac esedd ysga o ser yn eich llwyged berth, llwydd y ddylnoeth di gwmwl. Adhmeio de la tabla contra los drapos cosudos sobre lo muro, i gafiad una cadeira de sutos un canapeo, et lach secht una domna joliva voitare, et tanta parella iert elia en forma de familia adreie, que el mondo devinad que elia iert una de sus prochianos parentes. Le iert jovene mais aliozino. Le trici e de sus cabellos umbrosos ni eren tocados por la gelata, sus brachos blancos et sua faccia palieida, y eren sene falta et suave, et de las estelias la lujore y iert en tos sus oilos claros, gris como una noite abierta. In tos beo des midle, with weven um riftum upon thamwaule, tar was settle under seude, an dar saad wrth lafdi e ffair y dobe seon, an alswa was heo i'n maid yn a hard aswa aswa oedd am cynnig a that hard mwn dred heo was of his newchstwm. Iwng heo was buton nes wach, tha ywind i'n hyr i bwn ym hare ne waron a diwe bi ffwrsta, hyr e chwytra a ormas yn berch dan rwyd a waron hw amlase yn smodd, an tha leo mas deo oedd yna was i'n hyr e silfwrw ma ochwm, so aswa greir e nicht e wog yn laos re yn gwennig rhe hyr e thwchte, a'n ddiethochtan o'n dedness waron i'n hyr e bawr am twille. 
Suona qua haft now in money thin sa ya or bring off. O buvan hure bru, hure hao votacht was with chap on of siurin is uloci, with smalumimum to lich brochen, with lich blitche dende. Thou hure soft a grey kirtel, me have the bon butan girdel of love mort in si ovore. Swetchwin som the nasa in quich re wichte have the navre yucht, sawen no further funden in his minde. And I was either a forfangen, and I wish mod to finden that he have the settle at the cunningers meta border, among allum sus thisum focum swa haum and firum. A milieu de la table, contre les droits que c'est ce suisse le meilleur, y avait une carrière de subsum canopé. Et là, c'est une dame jolivette à Waiter. Et tant par aigne yert, elle y a une forme de femelle au rey, qu'elle m'en devina qu'elle y a yert une de ses proques inspirants. Le yard j'offre, mais combien non Les tresses de ses skivots doint n'yerent à désé par la galère, ses braises blancs et sa face pâle n'yerent sans défaillance et suive, et de ses tailles la liaison n'yerent en suas oeils clairès, qu'en est en semaine une nuit ouverte. In the middle of the table, a contrawoven drapery is upon the wall. There was a seda under a canopy, and there sat a lady fire at the mirror, and semblable so was she in womanly aid to the king that Edmund guessed that she was of his next folder. Young she was, and yet not so. The plating as in her those care tortured where there be no frost, her quit armors and bricht face were wameless and smeed, and the lame of stern was in her elusent iron, as a grey clodeless nicht. It quainly the same and then he thought, and the anision were in her blish, as of owning her who hath known many on thingers that the over year is forladen. On oven on her a brower, her a fax was overreared with a bonnet of silvery valence, fretted full of teen gems, wheatly glittering. Mess here a delicate grey warning had an ofrating of no mere girdle of levers birocht in silver. Though she the least in vivant and leche had a never to yet in the sainer, other nor him in the and I, he was a whether ye surprised, ye dismayed, to find that he had a cell at the king's table, in mong as all the theories win folks, so excellentia and vutable. In the middle of the table, a counter woven drapery is upon the wall, there was a sieved under a canopy, and there sat a lady, ye fire at the mirror and semblably so was she in womanly head to the king, that it munda guessed that she was of his next fold. Young she was, and yet not so, the platingers in her those care to which it were be no frost, her quit arms and bricht fast were waimless and smeed, and the leam of staren was in her alios and aim, as a grey cloudless nicht, it quainly besamed that and the thought and ignition were in her blish. As a voning who hath known many young thing years that the over year is for lead. On oven on her a brower, her head was overreared with a bonnet of silvery valence, fretted full of teen gems, wheatly glittering, mess here a delicate grey ornament had an no fretting out no mere girdle of levers berocht in silver. Such till yes, in Vivante and Deletia had he never to yet na seen, other nor remained the imagined, and he was a whether yes surprised. He dismayed to have found him that he had a cell at the king's table in among us all the theorists, winfolks of excellentia and votable. In the middle of the table, against the woven cloths upon the wall, there was a chair under a canopy, and there sat a lady fair to look upon. And so like was she in form of womanhood to the king that Edmund guessed that she was own of his close kindred. Young she was, and yet not so. The braids of her dark hair were touched by no frost. Her white arms and clear face were flawless and smooth. And the light of stars was in her bright eyes, grey as a cloudless night. Yet quenly she looked, and thought and knowledge were in her glance, as of one who has known many things that the years bring. Above her brow, her head was covered with a cap of silver lace netted with small gems, glittering white. But her soft grey raiment had no ornament save a girdle of leaves wrought in silver. Such loveliness in living thing he had never seen before, nor imagined in his mind, 
and he was both surprised and abashed to find that he had a seat at the king's table, among all these folks so high and fair. In the middle of the table, against the woven cloths upon the wall, there was a chair under a canopy, and there sat a lady fair to look upon, and so like was she in form of womanhood to the king that Edmund guessed that she was one of his close relatives. She was young, and yet not so. The braids of her dark hair were not touched by frost, her white arms and clear face were flawless and smooth, and the light of stars was in her bright eyes, grey as a cloudless night. Yet she looked queenly and thought and knowledge were in her glance, as of one who has known many things that the years bring. Above her brow her head was covered with a cap of silver lace netted with small gems, glittering white. But her soft grey robe had no ornament save a girdle of leaves wrought in silver. Such loveliness in living thing he had never seen before, nor imagined in his mind, and he was both surprised and abashed to find that he had a seat at the king's table, among all these folk so high and fair. 